quarantine can suck my syrup nozzle. The only upside to it is that I've been playing my Switch a heck of a lot more now, so I want to help you guys out and head to the eShop. There's a lot of great games on here, and today I'm going to give you my 10 eShop games I've been playing way too much of while being stuck inside the house all day. Even though I already do that anyway. First game on the list is Dodo Peak. Now the kind people at Dodo Peak were actually sweet enough to send me a download code, so thanks for that! Dodo Peak is a retro-inspired arcade action platformer. The aim of the game is to save your little Dodo babies from meeting their horrible demise at the hand of snakes, lava, falling rocks, and other horrible dangers. The game has a strong arcadey feel to it. It reminds me a bit of Qbert going up and down this isometric plane where every movement counts. I really had to transform into Big Brain Waffle for some of these challenges. Easy to play and hard to master, at least for me. I'm also the dumb idiot who can barely get past the first level of Pac-Man. Bite-sized arcade games are perfect for the Switch. You can play for a 5-minute car ride, on the toilet, whenever. And every level is fast-paced and quick, so you never feel stupid or frustrated trying to figure out a long, drawn-out puzzle. I'm weird. Sometimes I just want to play a game for 5 minutes. And there's not a lot of games out there that satiate that need. So it's nice that Dodo Peak shows some love to the ADHD gang. Also, I love this art style. The characters look like they're made out of clay, giving off a school art project kind of vibe. I like it. A big reason why I've been playing this game so much is because it's a mix of old meeting the new. The gameplay design and philosophy is familiar and classic, as old as Miss Pac-Man herself. So there's not a lot to learn. No complicated gameplay mechanics to learn or study. Just save burbs and don't die! Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! You stay away from these little babies, or I will murder you in that pit! Don't worry, little ones, everything is okay now. Are you enjoying yourselves? I got my eye on you. But with the updated visuals and more fluid controls, it feels like a new, fresh experience. It's also only $9.99 on the eShop, which is definitely one of the less spendier games on this list. So hey, thanks again for the code and click that link down below to check out Dodo Peak. Hashtag sponsored. Hashtag finally loved. I love you. Uh, what? Oh yeah! I'm a simple man. I like three things. Punching, kicking, cute anime girls. Fight and Rage has them all! The game is an arcade-style beat-em-up and is super dedicated to it. Everything from the way the screen is shaped to look like an actual arcade cabinet, to the colors, sound effects, this is the most genuine arcade beat-em-up I've seen, probably since the actual arcade days. The gameplay is... what you'd expect. Mash buttons and watch your character kung fu the heck out of everyone! Combat is fairly simple, stringing together flashy combos and admiring the... physics. But the game is so stylized that I couldn't step away from it. The game even has high scores and keeps your time on how fast you completed a level, so you can try and beat your own personal score. And of course, there's co-op. I mean, what good is an arcade beat-em-up if you had to do this alone? Hypercharge Unboxed! A team-based shooter, but what makes this shooter stand out from the literal trillions that exist is that it's set in the world of toys. So if Toy Story was instead about the Revolutionary War, I adore games like this. Games that have you explore somewhere basic like a bedroom or bathroom, but due to your size, everyday household objects now feel like grand landscapes to conquer, even though it's just like a chair. Seriously, I'm surprised this is such an untapped market. I love seeing things like a Lego base being powered with its AA battery. The online multiplayer is hectic and fun, but there is also a single player mode where you defend your base from Sid's horrible toy creations. For real though, what are you? Are you okay? The graphics are also really pretty, giving off that colorful, childlike wonder. Even if shooters aren't your thing, Hypercharge Unboxed has such a creative and unique world that I feel like there's fun to be had no matter what. Ah, Boog Fables. Oh, I'm sorry, Bug Fables. It'll probably take you five seconds of looking at gameplay for you to realize what series this game took heavy inspiration from. Bug Fables is a spiritual successor to Paper Mario. Ever since the Thousand Year Door, fans' opinions on the series have been split. Bug Fables really goes back to the simplicity that made the original Paper Mario great. 
Sometimes, less is more. The visuals are simple, the gameplay is simple, and the story is simple. But the characters really shine through, all having eccentric and instantly lovable personalities. And the overworld has plenty of puzzles and platforming sections. Having there be virtually no downtime, you're constantly interacting with this world in some way, and it's really nice to see. So if you've been craving that original Paper Mario feel, then definitely check this game out. You will love it. And Bug Fables is proof that if something ain't broke, don't fix it. Now hear me out on this one. This game is called A Summer with Shiba Inu, where you are a dog, and you, uh, hang out with other dogs. Maybe date them? I mean, look, the game is obviously ridiculous and dumb, but sometimes you just need a little stupid in your life. It's why I assume you watch me. It's ridiculous and weird, but I honestly couldn't stop playing and just wanted to see where the story would go. This is also the perfect game to show your friends when you're hanging out. It'll get a good laugh out of them. And if it doesn't, they have no soul. Who wouldn't smile at a Shiba? Monsters. That's who. Uh, the Doge game gets 10 out of 10. Boy, howdy, I'll tell you, partner. The life of a farmer is nice and simple. You walk around your land, plant your crops, and shoot mutant bunnies. Atomacrops is a top-down shooter where you defend your farm from all kinds of radioactive and alien-like creatures trying to bring harm to your land. Giant bugs, mutated bunnies, that. It can seem pretty overwhelming at times. Like, come on, man, I'm just a humble farmer. But luckily, you have the power of agriculture on your side. You can plant all kinds of weaponized crops to fight by your side. What Whole Foods are you selling this to? There's a lot going on here. You have to protect your crops, plant new ones, fight the enemies, manage your stock. It's way deeper than I initially thought. The farm is also huge. The only negative thing I can say about the game is that I feel like it would have benefited from a multiplayer feature, considering there's so much you'll need to manage. But that's a small nitpick. The game has something for everyone. Hail the corn. Pushy and Pulley in Blockland. Here's another fun retro throwback puzzle game. If you've played The Adventures of Lolo, then you'll feel right at home. You play as this adorable duo, and I will literally protect them with my life, they are so precious. And you gotta kill these aliens. The game plays on a grid, and you'll have to strategically kick blocks into them and squish them into pancakes. But you gotta be careful. Once a block is kicked, it won't stop until it hits another block. So you can't just mindlessly kick. You gotta activate that big brain again. The 16-bit aesthetic is really cute, and the music matches, being super relaxing and putting you in a chill state of mind. Now it's time for a little spooky game, Creepy Tale. Here, you and your brother are going for a walk in the woods, until he gets kidnapped by horrifying monsters, and it's up to you to save him. The gameplay is simple, it's a side-scroller, but this atmosphere and world is really where the game shines. I'm not a fan of horror games that just focus on jump scares. That's lame. I'm looking at you, Fredward. Creepy Tale has such an ominous and unsettling tone. The visuals are dreary, with little color to be found. There's no real music to speak of either. Only the ambiance of nature or the indoors, making it extra creepy considering you're just a kid. You're helpless, useless, needing to solid snake your way around all of these nightmares come to life. There's plenty of traps to be found that can be used to your advantage and can also lead to your downfall. Ooh, yeah, just put a band-aid over that, you'll be fine. <laughs> Death Squared. I hate math, but don't worry, this isn't a stupid math game. You take control of some adorable robots and need to solve puzzles in this room with platforms suspended in the air. The aim of the game is to land your robot on its designated color button. Every room has different rules that you need to follow. Sometimes your movement controls platforms, other times it controls spikes or walls. You really need to work with your partner to figure it all out. If you have siblings or friends come over, then Death Squared will definitely have you both needing to big brain every room. The puzzles can be really challenging, and when you finally have that aha moment, you feel really good about yourself. Like, man, it is big brain time! 
Bloodstained. Curse of the Moon. A retro throwback to the days of NES, specifically Castlevania. The art style and gameplay are heavily inspired, if not completely recreated here. What I love about Bloodstained is that the retro throwback isn't just a gimmick for aesthetic's sake. Everything about this feels like an old school Castlevania game. The music is there, the visuals aren't super clean and clear, and the gameplay feels a bit stiff. Now, all of those things may sound negative, but I promise they're not. Because of all of these limitations, you're getting the most faithful NES recreation you can. If you play the original Castlevania, the game does feel stiff, and there is a bit of delay when you press the button and your character actually attacks. The jump arc is pretty weak, you really have to adopt to the old school and the game is built around it, which is why it works and never feels unfair. I love old school Castlevania, and Bloodstained gives the younger generation of gamers a nice experience of what used to be. And those were 10 Switch eShop games I personally recommend during quarantine. What are yours? Let me know and I'll give them a go. Thanks for watching. You're my favorite. Mwah.